Natalie Brand is at the White House with the latest. President Biden has dropped his bid for re-election. In a statement, the president said in part, quote, while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. His change of heart comes one month ahead of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Jamie Harrison is the chair of the DNC. I am uh, emotional about the president's decision because this president, Joe Biden, has been a transformational president. He's been a great leader. He's a good man, a decent man who has done so much for this nation, but so much to see us as people, to value us, to fight for us. In his statement, President Biden says he's offering his full support and endorsement of Vice President Kamala Harris to become the Democratic presidential nominee. Former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton are also backing Vice President Harris. By this weekend, more than three dozen Democratic lawmakers had called for the president to exit the race following last month's debate. Delaware Senator Chris Coons, one of the president's closest allies and co-chair of the Biden-Harris campaign, called this a critical moment in American history. This was a very difficult decision and one that I think reflects the very best of who Joe Biden is. The challenge of seeing this moment and of recognizing what was in the best interest of the nation was a significant challenge. I still believe he could have beaten Donald Trump, but I also know that what he's done today is in the best interests of our nation. President Biden made the decision while recovering from COVID-19 at his home in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, where voters say they support the move. I think he made the right decision. I think it was very brave of him. I just think it's a little shocking at this stage of the game with, what, 13 weeks left until an election. I think that a lot of people knew there was going to be some big issues here for a long period of time. The DNC says in coming days the party will undertake a transparent and orderly process to move forward as a united Democratic Party. Trump texted this text message to CBS News. Kamala Harris owns the entire left-wing policy record of Joe Biden. The only difference is, is that she's even more liberal and less competent than Joe, which is really saying something.